Greetings Nintendodians, Mark Bozon here with IGN.com to give you my video review for Call of Duty Modern Warfare Reflex for Nintendo Wii. Now let's saddle up. Call of Duty Modern Warfare Reflex is a full-on port of the original COD4 that released two years ago. The first thing that you'll notice is that from a content standpoint, Reflex is spot on with what was offered in the original Modern Warfare release. You'll get the same load screen story sequences, the same attention to immersion and over-the-top action scenes, plenty of voiceover, and more multiplayer than last year's World of War offering had on Wii. There's some obvious downscaling to the visuals, and the between-level movies could have been higher in quality, but for the most part you've got the COD4 experience on Wii, something that most players didn't believe possible. Gameplay within Reflex is definitely a bit of a mixed bag. Treyarch listened to fan input from the previous Wii efforts and added a laundry list of customization and options for hardcore FPS fans. When it comes to sheer number of control options, Reflex is second only to the conduit on Wii. Unfortunately, all the customization in the world won't help a jerky frame rate and somewhat inaccurate pointer technology. Yes, Modern Warfare made it onto Wii, but it comes at a huge price, with the game's frame rate seldom locked at even 30 frames per second, resulting in a pretty rough ride. In fact, as you can see here, getting Modern Warfare on Wii was no easy task. Outside of frame skips and occasional slowdown, I actually had the game crash on me during play, which is disappointing. More importantly though is the aiming issue, which comes with the slower frame rate. With less frames to check the pointer, there's less accuracy in aiming, and more subtle actions, I'm talking the pixel by pixel movement, is completely ignored, making aiming a chore. If you worked your way through World of War's issues last year, then you'll probably be able to still enjoy Reflex overall. For those expecting a smooth experience that showcases why Wii's pointer is superior to dual analog control though, you're not really going to find it here. On the multiplayer front, Reflex is a pretty robust and impressive offering all around. You won't get voice chat, but you will get the top modes from the original COD4, and as someone that played the first Modern Warfare Online right up until Modern Warfare 2's release, I had some serious nostalgia going through the levels. Once again though, it all comes down to control, and it just doesn't perform in my opinion. Hit detection isn't always there even when the frame rate is, and you combine that with the aiming issues, and it's going to be a pretty frustrating experience for some players. Call of Duty Modern Warfare Reflex Edition isn't a bad game, it's just a touchy one. Treyarch went to great lengths to bring what everyone loved from the original COD4 and cram it all into the Wii version. It's obviously no easy task though, and there were some obvious sacrifices to be made. Most Wii hardcore FPS fans are going to warm up to Reflex in no time. For others though, the crash bugs, frame rate issues, and sometimes inaccurate pointer control makes this a tough sell. There are better shooters out there on Wii, and there are better Call of Duty ones at that. For my full written review, head on over to IGN.com.